Hi, I'm Blake from BA Electronics, and uh, this is my MacBook Pro, and this is a giant one terabyte hard drive. Um, for archive footage, I've been hooking these up locally, but I kind of want to store this in a safe place and still be able to use this wherever I want instead of having to put this on like the table or something and then like run a long USB cord to the bed. So I decided to make a file server out of an old MacBook 2008 that I had laying around that was actually my first Mac computer. And it still runs fine here in 2015, about to be 16. So I'm gonna try to set up where I can access the files inside this giant one terabyte hard drive on my uh, more modern computer wirelessly over my network. I'll show you how to do the same if you have one of these. All right, things you're gonna need for a simple file server, of course, your volume that you're going to mount on the file server, <laughs> and a computer to host your file server. This is a MacBook 2008. It has a problem with the battery, so it's not really useful to me as a laptop anymore. Plus running OS 10.10, I think, and uh, some device to receive your files from your server, obviously. This is a 2014 MacBook Pro, and it's way better than this junky old thing. Let's put it all together. All right, so you need a place for your file server host, and I've cleared out a little space in my desk for the computer. Of course, have a charger since the battery is completely dead. A ethernet port. I cannot see this. Ethernet port for fast internet. I don't want to do this over Wi-Fi. And then, of course, the um, USB 3 for the hard disk. Of course, install the disk. Power and USB 3. This always makes a weird noise. All right, so I've got the hard disk mounted on the desktop. And so now we can configure. All right, so now let's set up our sharing server. You open system preferences and go to sharing. I've already got it down here in the dock. So this is the file sharing window. Um, here in the shared folder section, uh, select the drive right here. Of course, this is a volumes archive HD, which is this big hard disk here. See, these are files on the hard disk right now. Uh, originally, this says file servers MacBook. I changed it to BAA file server. So when I'm on the local network, I can just type in BAA file server dot local and it will ask me for a, um, a username and password, which in this case is the uh, administrator username and password for the computer. And as you can see here, system administrator, I've set it to where the system administrator can read and write. The system group is like all the other users on the machine, which there are no others, so just read only in case there happens to become another user. And then everyone. This is everyone who can go on to this BAA file server dot local thing. I'm gonna set that to read only and I'm gonna check the file sharing. Oops, forgot, <laughs> I'm showing my IP address. Um, options, select whatever you want. Um, you can either do uh, SMB or AFP, 
doing both. And so that's how simple it is to set up your own local file server. File servers don't need to be very good computers because really all they're doing is uh, retrieving data from the hard drive, which is not hard, not very hard to do, and then basically uploading that stuff. That's why the computer doesn't have to be fast. Your internet connection does, however. If your internet connection isn't fast and you're watching a video from the drive, it ain't gonna load for a while. So, I'm gonna go test this out. All right, back on the couch. This is the receiver computer, the nicer one, the way nicer one. And so this is uh, on the screenshot. And so we're going to go to the file server right here. This is the computer. Oh, there it is. So this is the um, uh, local disk. This is the actual computer right here, of course. Um, that's the local disk. This is all the actual stuff from the user is in here. And then this is the Archive HD, which is the big giant one terabyte hard drive that was connected to the MacBook 2008. Now that takes a little while because it's really big. Almost 800 gigs of stuff in here. and. Remember that little screenshot earlier? See the exact same thing. And if you looked really carefully at the side of my screen, you saw over here, there are those drives. Um, if you don't want that to happen, Finder, Preferences, show these items on the desktop, be check connected servers. So you can actually mount your wireless server straight to your desktop right here. And I can just connect right to the drive. That's how easy it is to set up a file server. If you have one of these big giant drives and you want to try this for yourself, that's what this video is for. So, see you on the next video.